Hi dolls. Today's video is a bit experimental. Lately, I've been experimenting with mold making and I thought I'd take you along for the ride. Having recently purchased a Fashion Queen Barbie head and having no place to display her wigs, I thought I'd make some wig stands and a mannequin. And because I'm not particularly fond of lawsuits, I used a vintage clone doll to make the mold. For the mannequin, I wanted to cast her just below the waist, with no arms. So I take the arms off, then I stuff the armholes with tissues as to not make the holes cave in. Then I cover them with tape. Anywhere there are holes or gaps, it becomes a problem for mold making, so I attach the legs using tape. I fill the bowl with water and some dish soap. This will act as our catalyzing agent and make sure the silicone doesn't stick. Then I squeezed in a decent amount of silicone into the bowl. Cover my hands in soapy water as well as the doll. And I covered her entirely in silicone, making a cocoon. And this is what happens to disobedient dolls who don't follow the rules. After it was done curing, which was about a few hours but ideally overnight, I cut it in a zigzag pattern as to make it easier to attach when pouring. You want the mold to protrude by a few centimeters as to not leave any weak spots. Always test your mold with water before potentially wasting your expensive stuff. Mine had some leaks. What I did was put some rubber bands to keep it in place. Then I ran some melted wax over the edge to seal. Then plastic wrap and another row of rubber bands. I melted my candle and filled the head portion. As it was just about set, I put a chopstick to act as my stand. Then poured the rest. I made the wig block mold the same way. It seems I was a bit too eager to get this done. For the base of my mannequin, I just used a takeout sauce container. The wig block came out of the mold great, except for a few air bubbles, which we can fix later.
The mannequin on the other hand... Had a bit of an accident. To reattach her head, I heat up a pin and use it to connect the head to the body to give me some support. From here, it's just a matter of scraping and making everything smooth. The utensil I'm using is a tooth scraper, which has really nice sharp edges. For the base of my mannequin, I am smoothing it out with a utility knife. Then I am poking a hole with a hot needle for the stand. Now for the scary part. I mixed equal parts of A and B. I mixed in white acrylic. After sealing my mold, I poured the epoxy. While I wait for it to cure, I give my white block some lipstick and eyeliner, just because I can. And here's how the epoxy head turned out. If you're interested in seeing me customize the Barbie clone you saw at the beginning, please consider subscribing and liking this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.